In this video, I'll explain how to use a local date time object. Now, the first thing we're going to do is create or declare a local date time object. So it looks like this local date time, and just create a variable here, order date. And I'll go ahead and press enter. Now, the first thing you should notice is that local date time is uh, underlined in red, and over in the uh, number column, we actually have a little red uh, icon with a light bulb. So if I go ahead and click that, it's going to notify us that we should add import for java.time.localDateTime. So I'll go ahead and click that, and there's our imported item. Now let's go ahead and initialize the local date time object and print it or display it. So I'll go ahead and add a line there. Order date equals local date time dot now. And we want the date and time for right now. And then system dot out dot print line. order date and then just put in the order date object that information that we pulled out now once I've done that uh, the last thing I want to do is format the object using ISO underscore local underscore date and print it so it looks like this string we have to create a string object here or I'm going to create a string object F date equals order date dot format now, notice how when I created that parenthesis that uh, datetime formatter dot iso dot date was automatically filled in. Now what I'm going to do here is just change this a little bit. So it's iso underscore local underscore date. Just like that. And put in our semicolon. Okay, that looks good. And then finally, system dot out dot print line formatted order date because we're going to see the formatting change after we did that and just like that okay I'll go ahead and run this okay so you see that uh, the order date that we uh, that came out in the very first uh, section here where we used local date time dot now looks like that so it needs a little bit of formatting work and that's where the date time formatter dot under iso underscore local underscore date comes in and then the formatted order date shows us the date formatted to the way we want it to look in this particular instance, which is year, month, and day. And that's how you use the date time object. And again, the nice thing about NetBeans is it's going to import that information for you. Notice how it's put in the two import statements in there when we actually clicked on the, the number column to, uh, to add it. So we don't have to type that in if we don't want to the minute that you put something in that uh, NetBeans flags as needing an import statement, it's going to notify you uh, so you can add it quickly and easily with a single click.